six years ago, um, John came up to me and said, Lynn, I want to start a child poverty task force. Can I do that? I said, yes, you can. <laughs> and I've been working with him and supporting him in those efforts um, the whole time. Society needs to take this seriously because a lot of the ills that we have, crime and so on, is related, are related, those ills are related to poverty in one sense or another. I grew up in a family that was probably lower middle class, but my father had a job. I had a father and a mother. Uh, we had a roof over our head. We always had some food to eat and so on. And I discovered that I was very privileged. I didn't realize that those things that I took for granted were elements in, a, in many children's lives, those who are, who are living in poverty, that are not there. We both pretty much got into the deepness of what really drives some of these conundrums for children and families, given policy and legislation. So we connected pretty deeply on that. And he, for me, has been a consistent, long-term person that's in the same realm where I have. He doesn't go anywhere, he stays and he does the work. And I respect that and I consider him one of my most amazing mentors in my life. The thing that interested me mostly about doing something about children was the fact that the first five years of their experience is really critical to who they become as an adult. That makes me very, very passionate. These children are innocent. Um, they're born into a family. It's a lottery. You know, they're born into a family, and they don't have any choice in that matter. And I think that society needs to provide the resources that are missing in the lives of children that live in poverty. There's been a number of times John's come to me completely dismayed over what to do and why is he in the work. And it's taken not just myself, but the rest of you know, the other um, task force leaders in Jonah and people who care about John to um, remind him why it's important to keep trying. Every beautiful conversation where there's an aha moment is a win worth celebrating. It's hard work. It's very frustrating at times, but you have to keep chipping away at it. And that's what grassroots organizations do. They chip away. I think United Way with young children, that's always been there for our community. It's a, a strong organization that we all depend on. The activities that they have supplement everything that a family needs. And that's why United Way is a great organization. John and I got deeply in the Alice reports, you know, that the United Way is so instrumental in making sure that we have that information. Some of the communities in this area, and especially in rural areas, have very high poverty levels. And most people that live in Eau Claire or a city of 10, 20, 30,000 people don't, don't appreciate that. They don't even understand that. I could have taken this up at a much earlier age when I was still working. That would not have been a problem. Um, and I wish I had. I thought it was something that I, that I had to do in my lifetime. And I will not stop doing it, so. And I'm hoping I can conv convince other people to do the same.